Famcast Media. Bitch. Yeah, we're doing. Yeah, both. we are recording and streaming at the same time. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Yeah, this output for our video is extremely slow no. and low. Um, we're trying here, people. When you put it on YouTube, just put time. test stream. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll show, I'll show the show right now. But uh, your listeners probably yeah. into deep with the video, the Beast Martinez, Luis, the Beast Santan, and Anthony, the Beast Ariano. Nice guys. So. We're back at it again on a Monday. Shout out. I'm going to get this out of the way. Shout out to Ivan. He uh, he took his journey to the Air Force. I wonder what he's doing right now. He's probably waiting in a hotel. Probably yeah, I think that's hotel. that's what happened. He, he he had to go to a hotel. Um, he waits there. Uh, he checks in, signs off the last of the papers, whatever. Then they ship him off like in the morning on a bus to Texas, San Antonio, where he's in basic training for the Air Force. That's, That's like the coolest branch to be in. It's the easiest. And the Is coolest. It? I think so, yeah. His boot camp's like less than anyone. It's like two weeks less than anyone else's. Oh, okay. Or like half. Because he, he has to do actual school too after. But the Air Force has a really cool special operations branch. I forget what they're called. Yeah. Spec Ops. Because I know the Army has the Green Berets mm-hmm. and the Rangers. The Marines have... Navy SEALs. No, that's Navy. SAS. Navy, oh, wait, who, Navy oh, has, Marines. Never mind, never mind. Navy has Navy SEALs. Yeah. Marines has MARSOC. And, and, uh, and snipers, right? And I forgot, there's this other one. Then Ma- Navy, the Navy has the SEALs. And the Air Force has one I can't fucking remember. Oh, and the Army has Delta Force. What the What's, fuck? What does that mean? That's like another branch of their special unit. Oh. But I remember that the Air Force had a cool one too. I can't remember. Or was... I think maybe the Air Force did have Delta Force. Oh, okay. Delta which is like force. their actual like combat units because every branch even the Air Force has boots yeah. on the ground combat units the Navy has the SEALs obviously right? mm-hmm. Zero Dark Thirty dude is that SEALs? is it? no yeah, that was Green Beret no those were SEALs oh yeah oh shit my bad the best of the best SEAL, SEAL Team 6 it was SEAL Team 6 I'm a little bitch dude but uh yeah shout out to Ivan he just left this, this uh, afternoon so I was yeah. pretty sad God, he's yeah. got like a fucking 12 hour drive to San Antonio no no he's taking a plane plane? Mm-hmm. oh He's he's they stayed at the same hotel for like the day, so they finished all the contract work. It all seems so fun. Uh, I guess you're doing Air Force, dude. Well, I'm not good enough. I don't, I'm not good enough to join the Air Force. Dude. I wouldn't be able to score high enough on the test. If I even can do it, you could do it, dude. He must have scored really high to get to the Air Force. I don't know, but uh, I mean, shout out to him. I hope he does well. He says on the right to me. He better that fucking bastard. Well, yeah, he got all of our addresses. You know, he asked me whoever he was. saw. He asked you for your address? That's where my address was. Like, <laughs> like, hey, neighbors. Sometimes addresses are weird, dude. Like, the numbers, like, change from side to side. Sometimes I know. Sometimes they go, like, across. His is five. Mine's one. Cause it's, but, it's, but we've been neighbors since I was fucking two years old. I don't know my neighbor's fucking address. I don't know my neighbor's. I know CJ's address, for Christ's sake. That's weird, dude. Maybe you're just a stalker. You should just Maybe. surprise <laughs> no one else remembers. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, should we get to our news feed? Because we got a lot to talk about. A lot of happiness. Yeah, today we a lot got a happen. lot going on. A lot going on. Should we start off with uh, the father of zombies? Father of the modern zombies. Yes. Father of the modern zombie. Rest in peace, George A. Romero. You know, uh, he helped create, or he was one of the main creators of... Uh, the mainstream night, zombies, right? Or of Night, night Living? Night of the Living Dead. And then it was Dawn, Dawn of the, the Dead. dead. And there's Day of the Dead. And then from there, it kind of got weird because him and the original guy split apart. Mm-hmm. And one of them got of the dead. The other one got of the living dead, like, things for them to do. Oh, really? And uh, I think George Romero was the more, obviously the more successful, successful one. Yeah. But, yeah, that sucks. What, what, did you guys ever see any of those? I saw the remake of Dawn of the Dead, and I thought that was brilliant. 
Uh, I saw. I, I mean, saw, I never saw the original. The original one I saw a long time ago. Yeah. So I barely remember it. I think I've seen the. This is the one where they kill a black guy at the end just because he's black. What do you mean? The original, the black and white one. No, that's Night of the Living Dead. Dawn of the Dead was in color. Yeah. So which one was his first? I thought the first one. Was Night of the Living Dead one. was the first. Yeah, the black and white. And then Dawn of the Dead came after that. That's where they kill a black guy at the end. She says he was black. Really? Yeah, that's pretty. It was pretty hilarious. Well, how, how, how old was the movie? Like in the 50s, I'm assuming? I don't know. Actually, I know it's black and white, but I think the black and white was just... You. Uh, I think the black and white was just um, just a, an artistic choice. Mm-hmm. But it was... I think it was like in the 70s, maybe? But the black and white was an artistic choice. But yeah, I saw, I've seen that once, and that's all I remember from it. I've never been mm-hmm. a really big Zombies fan. Me either. Really? No, uh, I, like I was obsessed with that. Oh, I was obsessed with all of it. You were one of those zombie survival kids. Yeah, I, I bought book? the zombie survival guide, and I read it like three or four times. Well, Came up, I have a plan. I have a whole entire plan of what I'm going to do. It's never going to happen. That's it, the most, it, the most I know, I know, <laughs> but still. It's also just a general good survival plan. Because I wasn't like, everybody's like, I'm just going to go get a gun, and I'm going to go get a, I get a machine gun, and... And, or go, I'll down get bitches. a tank. I'll get a tank. Just, it's like, where the fuck are you going to get all of that? Where are you going to get any on of that? On your contingency plan, just scratch out zombies and replace that with just minority. Of choice. <laughs> minority of choice. <laughs> oh, wow. When the minority of choice <laughs> is chasing you. <laughs> God, that's terrible. <laughs> you must head to the, to the bunkers before the... Minority oh, yeah. of choice. <laughs> just, have, just, just, God, just have a blank slate. Is there? Remember, if a minority of choice bites you in the arm <laughs> <laughs> to, to get rid of that appendage immediately. Uh, that's hilarious. Before you become a minority of choice. But uh, I feel really bad. I never saw one of his movies. I saw the remakes. The remakes are really good. I like well, the, the remake, remake of was. Donald I Dead. think he was involved with it. Oh, of the Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, that, that was Donald really Dead good. Remake. No, and he still kept making them. There's like Land of the Dead. Uh, fuck. What's the most recent one? There's another one after that, but yeah, it was like yeah, Walking. Yeah, no, he did a couple like recent. Well, not recent anymore. Like those like the two thousands. Remember, I was watching one of them where like the zombie was progressively getting smaller as it was chasing them. Like he picked up a gun and then like a couple more hours into the movie, or, like a little bit more time into the movie, he was like shooting the gun. He just kept getting like smarter and smarter. He was all like, oh shit. Sure. I think it was a black zombie too. I remember. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Land of the Dead. Yeah. Land of the Dead. Was that a good movie? I should, it was what people watched back in the 2000s. I remember being a kid and my mom was like, what are we going to, like, what do you want you guys want to watch? It's like, ooh, that new zombie movie came out. I, should, I never liked zombie movies. I never got into zombies. Like, The Walking Dead stuff, I never, like, piqued my interest. Uh, my only good zombie movie I, I really do remember is Dawn of the Dead. I thought that was, like, a really good fucking movie. Yeah, it, it, it you know, the I think the new remake does stand up. Um, the original one, from what I remember, it was a game changer. All those movies were game changers because it's like, what the fuck, you know, zombies? Like, well, because like, because um, because there's always those like those fucking, I guess the more like akin to like goth kids, you know. But there was always that. Even like back in the fifties, there was always that that, that group, group of people, yeah, that were into Frankenstein, Dracula, uh, Wolfman. And that was like their new thing, like the yeah. zombies. Zombie. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised. Like Universal had, didn't catch up on it, or did they? Because Universal is all about that monster stuff. Well, I think Universal did. They did capitalized on the uh, Walking Dead. Oh, that's right. I'm not sure if they ever did like a, you know, well, it's so easy to, um, to capitalize. <laughs> you totally threw me off. With that. You, know, you totally threw you, me off. I saw you look like, at it. Your whole train of thought <laughs> yeah, just disappeared. Making a handle for your beer with the anal beads. Um. <laughs> so I, it feels way better drinking it this uh, way. I bet. No, uh, I mean, th- the zombie's easy to capitalize on because it's not like trademarked to one person. Um, or I think maybe the zombie is because. In it The Walking be. Dead, they don't use zombie at all. Oh, yeah, they, well, call, they call it, they call it uh, uh, walkers walker. or, you know, uh, they have other names for them in there. But I think it's because the original writers of The Walking Dead hmm. wanted it to be like in a universe where zombies weren't like a concept at all. It was just the dead came back to life. And that was the name that just kind of spawned from that. Oh, but also, too, it kind of like, uh, I don't like the show anymore. You guys watch the show? Yeah, I'm not a I fan of the show I got into for anymore. a bit because they're... They, 
Because I, I never watched it. So I started watching it when they finally started doing like all the reruns on Channel 13. Mm-hmm. And I remember there was a whole week where I was just watching it. Got into it for a second and then I missed one episode. And I just, it was, I don't know. Just Gave like, up. There's too many better things to watch for me. Only because I'm not into zombies. I'm just, they don't. I want to see it's not as much surprises as it is like you're starting you're slowly starting to get the connections uh-huh. that are going to start tying into other things like yeah. start like one of them down like yeah the- it's like literally like you're, you're getting the first couple tendrils and eventually those those wires are going to reach the big questions you know uh-huh. but you're finally getting like oh shit like because you because everyone was thinking like you know why is the hound and those people going up north you know and then you know spoiler alert like certain things happen and then you learn oh that's why they're going there you know oh, okay. or you say why is this gonna happen why is this like you're slowly getting those answers yeah nice. like you're starting to get motives for a lot of people and this was just the first episode so they touched they barely touched on things so you can only yeah. imagine what the next I guess seven more episodes gonna only give me eight I think yeah well they're filming the last season right now yeah so that's are you excited for that or no excited, I would you guys do excited, excited. that's I felt with, uh, with Breaking Bad I never saw that. Really? Yeah. Uh, I was I was like up yeah, to date with a it. Classic. That show well, I was up to date with it, like watching it weekly. Like for the last episode, I was like, "Oh my god, this is the last episode." Like, this is, yeah, like I said, I'm like, "What am I gonna watch on Sundays <laughs> now?" Because this is over for me. Like, but uh, <clears throat> I mean, I, I heard a lot of cool theories about it. Because like I'm not really invested in Game of Thrones, so it should be. So like, I literally just go on spoiler spoiler stuff and like watch theories about it. So I mean, what's the cool thing about? Be, you know, outside of obviously spoiling the, the actual episodes, hmm. the theories don't really spoil much. It only makes you like wonder, wonder more, more what's going to yeah. happen because there's no concrete evidence for anything at this point. You yeah. know, you know, there's White Walkers. You know, there's the whole Lord. Are of those Light. are those like quote unquote zombies or no? Well, the White Walkers themselves, I want to say they're zombies, but they do raise the dead. So the White Walkers have an army of zombies. Oh, okay. The White Walkers themselves, I guess, they're like weird. Magic mutants, I guess. Like, yeah, Mystic Elves. Something it, something. it shows that one of them being made, the first yeah. one, which is what, who they're saying is that guy is supposedly a Stark, you know, and yeah, possibly definitely one of the yeah. first men. But yeah, like they're like weird magic mutants that somehow raise the dead mm-hmm. and have an army of zombies. And there's Daenerys with their dragons, the whole Lord of Light stuff. There's a lot, a lot of players in the game, and I want to say like almost half of it is unexplained. So like. There's so much room for like answers. And- There's one uh, cool theory I uh, heard. I'm uh, just gonna touch on it because I have no invested. It, like it's like that Bradley theory. The guy could go back in time. It's, supposedly he's like every Bradley. Oh, Brandon. Dream. Brandon. I'm Brandon sorry. Stark. He's every Brandon. Like because apparently there's like other Brandons like throughout the time. Oh, and he's every single one no, of them. No, you he, read that? I watched it. On YouTube. Oh, okay. Hmm, that'd be interesting. That's like one theory. I was like, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. But then that means he'd have to somehow... Because he fucked up Hordor. Like... Wait, well, Hordor did see him. Yeah, so but he was means... already in that past. But then he'd have to learn how to like completely manifest himself in time. But and then... then the brands like have kids, well, though. Cause then he'd but like... if you notice in season uh, six... Spoiler, we said that already, right? Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll drop another spoiler for everyone. You know, uh, season six at the Tower of Joy, when he calls his dad's name... Or his uh, Ned Stark, the young Ned Stark, kind of turns around and looks around, you know, like as if he heard him. Mm-hmm. And then they're also saying that that he was the. They're saying he's the voices that the Mad King heard in his head, and so, um, so they're saying yeah that there might be a, uh, like he might actually be able to manifest himself within. Well, the, he, I totally he, believe he's that. A, he's already manifested himself. I, yeah. I'm just saying like he'd have to f- figure out how to like permanently keep himself at any point in time. I mean, it is possible if you if you learn how to time travel, you, you pretty much come. A they have to learn how to walk because none of the other brands are cripples. Oh no! But then when he goes through time, he, he's, he's yeah, he can up. stand. He could walk he's around. Oh, See, oh, so I heard that theory. I was like, damn. that's that's pretty cool. That'd I be wanna, pretty tight. I want to bring up to you guys that he might be the Lord of Light himself. Really? Oh, he might be a Lord because he travels. Who else yeah, would be the Lord of Light? Because it's already been proven time and time again that the Lord of Light is talking to people. Or at least showing them visions, you know, fucking just this very last episode with the Hound. And he spoiler brings, alert. He brings people back from the dead as well. That's not a spoiler alert, but he brings people back from the dead. You know, he did it to Jon Snow and fucking that dude, Don Darian dude. 
Bran, nothing's been indicated that Bran can people bring people back from the dead, but the Lord of Light does that. So I guess that's like more akin to him specifically. Mm-hmm. But the whole talking to people through the flames, like that seems pretty like brandish. Could be, yeah. Also, one quote there I heard is, uh, the who who was the king that first died in the very like very first season? Ned Stark, right? No. Ned Stark, yeah. yeah Ned. They well, he was the king, but yeah. They said yeah. that uh, that uh, he's still alive because of the faceless. Oh, you were the faceless men. Talking I about talked that. about that. Yeah, they're I saying. Sh- I so yeah. After we me. talked about it, it doesn't seem very likely. It's cool to think about, and that theory is is that um. It's okay. There. What was that guy's name? Sirio, uh, the Sansa's. Um, You're speaking the wrong person. About or Arya's sword <laughs> teacher. Uh, supposedly, he was a part of the Faceless Men because he teaches her the whole Val- Valar Margulis, Valadares, whatever. Um, so he had to be a part of that. And um, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm drawing a blank now on it. Well, the reason I heard because, like, I guess one of the... Like, her- well, yeah, the, the one of the faceless men switched Ned Stark's face with yeah. that guy's face because he was mortally wounded. So when they actually chop his head off, mm-hmm. it's not actually Ned Stark. It's, it's- the sword teacher's yeah. head, and Ned just kind of vanished. Also, they say that's why, uh, like, I guess the daughter's, like, hanging out with him, like, hanging out with the faceless people a lot more. Because, like, I don't know, I guess... Watch again. I don't watch this fucking show. All I, watch, <laughs> <laughs> you just know the I just know all the theories about it, and I just like hearing about this. And I just think that would be so stupid because then that would have meant that he was alive when his fucking son died, and when supposedly his other sons died. One of them did end up dying. Well, one son is a little bitch, right? The little kid, the little kid one. The little kid one ended up dying, but as far as everybody knew, he was him and Bran were dead from the beginning because mm-hmm. that was like that was what uh what uh Theon. Told everybody that he killed Bran and and the other, and Rickon, but it turns out they actually escaped. But then his dad would just think they're dead, and then fucking Rob, he would think Rob died. Well, Rob did die, so he would also know Rob died. So I don't know why he would just be hidden wherever the fuck he's at, and just keep listening. Like, oh yeah, like your daughter's fucking with your daughter's now with fucking with uh with uh Ramses, and your fucking three sons are dead, and your fucking and your bastard kid. God knows where Like he'd just be sitting there like Well cool My entire Stark family Is just being ripped apart I'm gonna keep being here And hidden in secret Like I don't know why he would do that Like what It doesn't I was, seem like Ned Stark at all Like The only reason Why I would think He might be alive If and If it were to be that And you're saying Yeah why would he stick around It's because He knew about Gendry Gendry just kinda took off What if he like Somehow found Gendry again And tried to help use that or for whatever reason. But if you read the books, like Ned never wanted to become the hand of the king. Rob forced him to become hand of the yeah. king. Rob forced him to go to fucking King's Landing. He wanted to stay with his family. His gut feeling told him stay in Winterfell, protect the Starks. So why would he just roll all the dice on Gendry and let his entire Stark family get destroyed? Maybe he's a gambling man. Maybe he's a betting man. But that doesn't seem no, like that. Those aren't, not, that's but those not aren't his interests, and he was not a gambling man. And those aren't even in his interests. Like when he was hand of the king. He started uncovering the fact that all his kids weren't his kids, and they were actually Cersei's and and, uh, and fucking Jamie and Jamie Lannister's kids. He was doing that all for the sake of of Rob. He was doing it for the sake that hey, just to let you know, you know, like your entire kingdom is legacy is your time, your entire kingdom's legacy is not factual because none of those kids are yours. Mm-hmm. But one of them out here is yours and that could be your heir if you want to keep your shit going he was doing that all for Rob's sake but then Rob fucking dies and at that point they also kill him he dies then he goes to jail when he's about to like show all the fucking information so it was always for Rob's sake like I don't see why he would want to like fuck his family over or just like let him let him disintegrate to put Gendry back for Rob when when you know Robert's been dead for Long as yeah, that makes sense. That's why I, mean, I wouldn't it, put it, it just, past. It's a fun thought. It's a fun. I wouldn't thought. put it past the fucking George R. R. Martin for like to make that a plot point, but I would just, I would lose so much respect for fucking. Also, uh, for, cool, cool little theory. This is a last theory. Cool little theory is that uh, all the three different people get the dragons, and it's the uh, all dragon warfare. Like Ned Stark gets a dragon. John. Cor- yeah, John. John Snow. Well, yeah, John Snow. He we know now. Or it's still not a hundred percent true, but it's super obvious. Jon Snow uh, was son of uh, what's her name, Liliana Stark. Uh, 
who was supposedly fathered by uh, what's his name? Rhaegar. Rhaegar Targaryen. Rhaegar Targaryen. Um, so there's that. So he's a Targaryen, which means there's possible he could be a dragon rider. Obviously, Daenerys is. And then the last person would be Tyrion, because what they're saying is is that uh, the Mad King mm-hmm. raped uh, Tywin Lannister's wife, thus getting her pregnant, and that's why he never liked Tyrion. Because when he was born, one, when he was born, the mother died, and the father always hated him for that. And two, he has, like, in the books, it describes him as having very, like, light white hair. They're all blonde, but his hair was always, like, Different was than like theirs. The Targaryen thing, where like, they, were, oh, like, they all had white hair. Platinum blondes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, they said like the three-headed dragon thing, like dog a dragon. That be to me. That'd be such a like cop out. Like, like, oh, we're all on dragons now. Dragon power. Like, I like it to stay the way it is. Daenerys has dragons. Rob's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's doing their thing. Like everyone's fucking like wants to see Tyrion on a dragon. Like, if they want to do that, fine. But I just think. They shouldn't turn it all into like. What if Tyrion gets on a dragon and dragon flips out and eats him? That's what I, that's what <laughs> should happen. Like that's realistic. Like in a world with dragons, that's what would happen. <laughs> dragon flips the fuck out. <laughs> you eats see him, a dude. small man. This is fucking meal, dude. Like, <laughs> this is this is like, my fucking. They only trust the mom, which is fucking Daenerys. Like, you know, if they want to make it all goofy like that in the very end, you know, when it's mm. been a very serious show. Do you want to just goof it up at the end? Like, everyone gets hey, dragons. Like, we're all you, flying. Open like, for you. You get, get a dragon. dragon. You, you get, get a dragon. dragon. Do you want to goof it up at the end? Like, that's their shit. But that would be very disappointing. Like, what would, uh, this final one, like, what would you want to happen at the end of Game of Thrones? What I believe, yeah. my theory is that Jon Snow is going to have to become the new, he's going to become a White Walker uh-huh. to control the other White Walkers and make them go back. And Jon Snow is going to be a White Walker forever to keep all the other, all the other white walkers up north so he's going to sacrifice himself to stop that and then i don't think daenerys is going to pull through if she does get the throne it's going to be at the expense of someone important like tyrion or fucking maybe even jaime like jaime might kill cersei so daenerys will become queen or tyrion like sacrifice himself for Daen- cuz i do feel like now that I'm thinking about it, Daenerys probably will become queen. But at the sake of someone important, Jon Snow will sacrifice himself to stop the whole White Walker thing. And then as for everything else, I can't say. Those are my only theories. Oh, because the White Walkers are badass, I'm assuming? They're just too they're OP? Just, they're, they're, at, to this point, they're seemingly... Well, they're overwhelmingly strong. Because you know you can kill them with Valerian Steel, which is very rare. And, and then, Dragon and, Glass. And Dragon Glass, which is more abundant. Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing they know how to... That know, that will kill the White Walkers. But it's very hard to even get close to them. And mm-hmm. then they have an army of the dead, which is even harder to fucking get rid of. Uh, well, why, why are they hard to get close to? Because they're fucking super powerful. Yeah, they're they're undead beings. They just kill, um, like... Because t- to stab them with, like, dragon glass or Valerian still, you'd have to get near them, and they're, like, super, like, cool at sword fighting. Oh, really? So yeah. So they just, like, ball you up with the sword. Because oh, they've okay. been, like, those creatures for, um... For, for Long time. time. And then yeah. they have an army of the dead also like in between all that. That's pretty How about you? What's your final theory? What do you want to happen? My theory is um, that right now, from what it's looking at, the White Walkers are coming, but they're not quite, not quite there. I feel like the war is going to be started in the south, and amidst the middle of the war, the White Walkers are going to fuck it all up. And that's when everybody kind of realizes, oh shit, let's kind of put this off to the side we need to defeat the white walkers and in that everybody just kind of bows down to daenerys that's what i'm assuming how but then that's crazy to think that's crazy to think because if the white walkers get far enough south to like fuck with the people down there that means he would have to completely overrun the north so that means winterfell loses Jon snow loses or gets pushed back so that's they, what I'm assuming. They'd, they'd have to lose. Er, they'd have to lose everything in the north. Like that has like big implications. You know, that would mean that everything from the like all of Jon Snow's area. That means he'd have to lose and fucking pull all the way back to where fucking Cersei and the rest of everybody in Westeros is at, which is in the south. Is this as the north has that a big old wall? Yeah, I like to call that the Trump Wall. The Trump Wall. Look out that Trump Wall over there. Make, make the White Walkers uh-huh. pay for it. <laughs> 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 the White Walkers. We're not even going to spend a dime. We're not even going to spend a dime. White Walkers are pay for it. 
<laughs> Definitely this season there's gonna be they're gonna cross the wall. Cause they already said the first place the White Walkers would cross was where the where the wall meets the ocean. Yeah. And, and then it, and then like and then the hound internet. the hound had a vision which told what well, didn't tell him to go, but the hound had a vision of where the wall meets the ocean. And White Walkers. So the fire the Lord of Light is telling him to go exactly where the White Walkers would reach the wall first. Yeah. I understand that another theory is that the the hound of the mountain will fight. Oh, I'm hoping for that. It's a not, bowl. Can't be this season though. You think so? Because he's gonna he's going towards the where the wall meets the ocean. But I, I feel uh, And the mountain's not gonna go up there, he's gonna stay wherever Cersei's is at. Do the mountain and the hound don't like each other? Oh, the yeah. brothers and the reason the hound is the shitty person that he is because his, his brother his torture brother. him. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The Klingon bull? It's like if Robbie, when you were children, like Robbie, like put your face in a bunch of glass, scarred you for life, and you just hated Robbie your whole life. <laughs> and Robbie was just fucking like a giiant body. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, six nine, <laughs> yeah. giant mass giant of meat. Scandinavian man, mass man. of meat. Uh, I just punked you constantly. Speaking of sex cults, you guys hear about R. Kelly? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Perfect. <segue. laughs> Speaking of sex cults, guys, we heard wow. about R. Kelly. Um. Yeah, I heard about that. It's fucking crazy. All the families, like, is it with four families so it's far? It's like six women whose families have come out and tried to say that, um, that he's been uh, holding them like these women that he met through the music industry hostage, and like pretty much recording them do like sexual things either to each other or to him, and he's like he shares it with all his all of his. Uh, buddies or whatever, whoever's in that inner circle i believe it you think so i believe it i don't think so he's been caught like there's been way too many weird this sexual one things. time you, gotta, no, dude, you know what this a is a few years ago he got shot with child porn not a few but years ago but then he, he just has he just has a badass lawyer i think that's all it is he has that oj lawyer because well, that girl agreed to be peed on dude. yeah First of all, she gave consent. He said, I'm going to pee on you, bitch. And she's like, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> give it to me. She may have been under the age of consent, but she still gave consent. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if the glove does not fit, <laughs> you must have quit. <laughs> nah, but. Did you guys uh, watch that documentary, by the way? The OJ documentary? A little bit. No. Uh, oh, so good. Watch the one for uh, ESPN. The 34 31. <sighs> Brilliant. What happened to the juice, dude? The juice. So, but you know he's a uh, he, he's a uh, he's up for parole, and if he gets yeah. it, he'll be out in October. Yeah, and then he'll just go right back to jail because he's crazy. Maybe. Oh, maybe uh, now he'll get into the Hall of Fame. What's his name is up for parole too? Who? Or he's got come. He's getting out on parole. Charles Manson. Nah, no, he's not. Yeah, then he's, I did not get him. Did he have no parole? No, watch. Pretty sure that he got sentenced to no parole. Charles Manson. How many people did he kill? Eleven. He never killed anybody. He told people to kill people. Oh, but that's still, like, I think court of law is still, like... Well, the whole the whole point of that thing was that he brain... Like, that was what the lawyers were saying, like, which was really what happened, is he that did. he brainwashed Anyone? those people into killing. So he never committed a single murder. Mur- he just Jeez. stood there while he told people to do it. So, like, yeah, the other people have big, pretty big sentences themselves because they committed the murders. But he was, but like... But he got a hefty sentence as well for orchestrating it all. <sighs> He should have been a business But man. technically, he never killed anybody. That's true. That's true. I was... Well, what does he give the W to him? Oh, uh, never mind. It was false. Yeah. 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 I was like, there's no, no way they're going to let that man. They gave him no parole. There's no... All right. I was supposed to have anyway. him killed him yet. You know who is out on parole? The guy who shot Reagan. Again. Oh, yeah. Not again. No, no. This is his final parole. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. That was it? But he's in... Damn. He's in house custody now. Because he's crazy. So he's just with his mama. Yeah. You know why they kept him in a mental inst- institution? Because they moved him to a mental institution, he wasn't in jail. It was for uh, narcissist. Uh, he was a he had narcissistic personality disorder. He was a narcissist. That's what it was. So you're next. Crazy. Or what? Yeah, I guess. So. No. You shoot Trump. Dude. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but you shit. have to do it for a lesbian actress. Because he did it for Jodie Foster. What? Yeah, he shot Reagan because he was in love with Jodie. Yeah, Foster. because of Taxi Driver. He yeah. found love with her in Taxi Driver. You know, she, she was, was like 14. only like 13. Yeah, yeah, 14. Yeah. She kissed Robert De Niro, who was like, what, 50 or 40 at the time? 40 no, at the time. He wasn't 40 when Taxi Driver came out. He was like yeah, in his was, 30s. Yeah. Maybe oh, even like late 20s. No, I think yeah. 30s. That's so weird. She was a lesbian, mm-hmm. so it doesn't count. 
That's, three, it's, that's even more weird. No, because she wasn't sexual at all. Was no, all but that's, true. that's still weird. Because she's not into. Because she wasn't even into dudes. It's all acting. All right, man. If she was a straight little girl, she was a straight little girl. That would have been gross, dude. Just bring it all the way back around. Sex cult, R. Kelly, dude. Sex cult. I say, why not? I think I believe it. Really? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it. so. It is a clear cut case of families not wanting <laughs> to accept that their daughters are thoughts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't want to accept. <laughs> you mother. Mother. No, because because if you re- if you read the if you read the whole uh, um if you read the whole uh case, uh-huh. yeah. it's it's five different properties. Literally five different houses where these women are at, supposedly against their will for sexual acts. Uh-huh. But it's not that. It's just these bitches have a place to live, and all they gotta do is suck dick every once in a while. Like, and the families don't want to accept that their daughters are. Oh yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> their daughters don't want to accept. I mean, their daughters. The, the parents don't want to accept that their daughters are living in homes in exchange for sexual gratification towards R. Kelly. No, I'm saying that he's keeping them there. They're all adults. So? You know, police already went to those homes and asked them. And they're like, yeah. Like, where'd you get that information from? It's all part of the inf- investigation. Once you... like, where, once, Where'd you get the information from? From the article that was talking about the whole investigation. Where was that article from? The Guardian, I think. Yeah, exactly. Uh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I hope it wasn't going to come up with the news organization. <laughs> no, but... It's just a clear-cut case of parents not wanting to accept that their daughters are thoughts. No, but the daughters are the ones who reached out to the parents. No way. And then they had no contact to them. They they have they had no way of contacting. Like he cut at he cut them all off. There was no way the parents could reach them. Anything like that. Because he can't walk out a door. How do you know he doesn't lock everything up? How how do you know that they're not forced to stand there? You know how? Because then they'd be free right now. Because the investigation already happened. But, uh, the do, cops went to. And don't homes. you think that's weird that he has several different homes? You know, specifically, you know, all over the place. He doesn't like. He's a rich, rich man. Yeah, <laughs> he's, a, he's a rich he's man. man. I'm just surprised. Really, like, no, 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 no. With no thoughts in him. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He has his houses, yeah, but these are like apartments. They're not fucking big ass luxury stuff. Yeah, when you're a rich man, where the fuck are you gonna put all your side chicks? You're antagonizing me. Right now. I'm just saying, if I was R. Kelly. R&B, love making music legend R. Kelly. Come on, I want to fly. I believe I, I can, can fly. fly. Trapped in a closet. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh. I'm just saying, it's it's clear cut case of fucking when you're a rapper, R&B singer, you got homes with thoughts in them. Mm-hmm. It's just, you, mm-hmm. like if you're gonna Preach. tell me, you can tell Preach. me. <laughs> I can't hear you. You gonna tell me the game? You. you gonna tell me the game ain't got a couple you. homes with a couple girls whose fathers and mothers haven't seen them in a while? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like mm-hmm. You'd be very wrong. Dude. Tell me. There's a plenty of parents. Preach. All over the fucking L.A. Preach. Fucking uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Preach. <laughs> all the hotspots for rappers. I'm feeling it. There's a bunch of girls that are fucking technically missing. But you're, they're just thoughting about, dude. Thoughting about and that's thought about. about. Love it. They could have left whenever they wanted. Mm-hmm. But they like living wherever they fuck, where the mm-hmm. hell they want for free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell them. And all they gotta do is get peed on. <laughs> get peed on. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> get peed on. You're happy, dude. Some of that I mean, if anything, they live the dream. Chapter in the clo- maybe they're trapped in the closet, dude. They're living that life, dude. <laughs> And then, and then Maybe their body's goes, telling them no. No. Their R. mind's R. telling them no. Games. <laughs> Maybe their mind's Get telling them the no. <laughs> the, <laughs> Maybe their mind's telling them no. But the body. The body's telling them yes. <laughs> but my body. <laughs> you ever I thought about that? Huh? Yes. I'm I wanna believe he has a sex cult. So yeah, you sex can believe cult. <sighs> of course he denies it. Anyways. Anyways, anyways. Just, just run of the mill thoughts, dude. Run of the mill thoughts. Run of the mill thoughts. All right. Um, what, what, about... what are the cases you want me to crack, dude? <laughs> 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 Anything uh, else perplexing you? We got... We have the Aladdin cast. Well, it's, we can mix up with D3 because it's later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go with D3. All right. D2-3. 23? Yeah, D23. 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 D23? Yeah. It's pretty much like a Disney Expo where they, they announce all their upcoming Disney stuff and... <laughs> 
Aladdin, which the Aladdin cast, they're making another live action movie. I think they were live. They're making nothing but live actions to their old cartoon movies. Uh-huh. So uh, they announced what for the genies Will Smith, right? Genie yeah. will be Will Smith. Luis's Power Ranger crush, Naomi yeah. Scott. Oh, it's Jasmine. Jasmine. And there's, there's been a lot of push to get some dude to play Aladdin. He looks just like him. Oh, the guy Kylo Ren looks just like Aladdin. No, no, no. There's another dude. My my, 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 my my girlfriend Kyler, showed me showed Kyler me. Kylo Ren, you know how much you know how much no Kylo no. Ren looks like Aladdin. That when Kylo Ren went to SNL to promote the Star Wars, they did a skit where he played Aladdin, dude. Because obviously there's someone there that was like, oh, holy shit, dude, you would make the good Aladdin. No, there's another dude. Watch. You have, you have this. Well, the actor that is it's Aladdin Pan- is Mena Masood, or I think that's how you spell it. Who mm-hmm. is? Dude. I'm assuming, you know, that's sounds, like that's a picture of him right dangerous. there. <laughs> Jesus Christ! In the middle? Oh, no, yeah, obviously. Yeah, like that, that's him. He's too handsome. Too handsome? You too think handsome. so? He's a handsome guy. Too handsome. Adam. He just Adam. Like Aladdin. Aladdin. No. I think Aladdin was supposed to be a handsome thief, scoundrel, street hey. rat. Hey, yeah. first of all, he he's part of the forty thieves, dude. <laughs> Gotta relax, right? Yeah, yeah. You better watch your back. And then, uh, yeah, but the Will Smith uh, playing. Uh... <laughs> I've already saw. I already saw memes. On uh, the whole... Well, the Will Smith playing uh, I don't know why they didn't Genie. just make Shaq Genie, dude. Kazam, Shaq, dude? <laughs> no way. He already has Genie experience. Uh, you're right, he does. We're going to change it to a boombox, dude? It's like, what, what do you want to learn? <laughs> <laughs> I love how I was supposed to see drama. Like, the ending all sad. Hey, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to learn? <laughs> what you want, dog? <laughs> what you want, dog? <laughs> what you want, dog? <laughs> I've been in that lab for <laughs> 10,000 years. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't, I don't think Will Smith would be. They, they should. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's big shoes to fill, dude. Because Robin Williams was a lab. Yeah, genius. that's true. Will Smith. I saw yeah. a meme about it where it's like. Um, Urban legend Will Smith's going to hang himself right after that. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus what, Christ, what dude. I don't know. It was pretty much him singing the. It was a picture of Will Smith's face photoshopped on the genie, <laughs> and then it was singing the like the, the whole, lyrics for a Fresh Prince of Bel Air, oh, but they changed it like to make it Aladdin style. I thought funny. it was funny. And then uh, also on D three was uh they announced uh, a live action Dumbo. Really? Yeah, live action Dumbo. Who are they casting for Dumbo? The, they don't know yet. Uh, they don't know yet. Oh, but they, they have the they have the the figure already for it. Like oh, so okay. I was on look. I want to know who they're casting for the racist crows. Ooh. Because uh, you know yeah, that's that movie, right? movie was or pretty it, racist. Yeah. That the crows are pretty... Uh, yeah, they're pretty... pretty, A pretty good uh, stereotype of, of black people <laughs> in the 70s, I guess. The oh, 50s, I think. 50s. 50s, like now. Yeah, when when the movie came yeah, out. It was like 50s. And then, uh, 40s or 50s, maybe. They did... Uh, they're the, all those like, stereotypical like jive-talking black people. And then, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Uh, put it down, do dude. Put it down. <laughs> I'll put that down. And then... um. They showed clips for the new live action uh, Lion King. Oh, that was that really look. good. That yeah. really looked really good. They, uh, like a lot of the oh, clips, no, 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 not no, clips leaked out. Isn't Donald uh. Glover gonna play Simba or something? No, I don't know about that. I heard somebody was. I know Seth Rogen is playing Timon or Pumbaa. Oh yeah, Seth him Rogen. and uh, Bill Hader. Yeah, or Timon, Timon and Pumbaa. Pumbaa. I'm assuming Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen Pumbaa. would make an amazing Pumbaa. Yeah, he is Pumbaa. But Bill Hader as Timon. Bill Hader, unless I'm saying the wrong name, the no, guy, the I cop. I know what you're talking about. But well, that was suck. It's like, pretty. No, it's like the combo from Superbad. The two cops from Superbad. Yeah, it's those combo. two guys. Yeah, but he would. I just don't see him as a good Timon. Man. I I see it. I totally see. It. And then uh, they they remaking Mary Poppins. What? Yeah, with Emily Blunt as uh Poppins. And who, who's? She's what? married. Emily Blunt B Poppin, dude. B Poppin. Hot. I don't know about that one. I don't know how yeah. I feel about that. Sexy Poppins, dude. Sexy Poppins. Sexy Poppins. Ooh, popping that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. They're popping that, dude. Yeah, yeah, popping that. She should be popping. Vagina. Dude. <laughs> uh, you made it super <laughs> gross, yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, you made me a fucking <laughs> blister down there. You, you said it like a guy that's like never had sex in his entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's popping uh, up with yeah. China, guys. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> I totally <laughs> like to hit that. <laughs> and the next, uh, the next princess movie that is, it is coming out, I think it's Mulan. 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 They're making a live no action. No Asian actors. They are. They're nothing but, no Asian nothing but Chinese actors. Nothing but white people. <laughs> and then, uh, Blonde white people. They announced for the actual by Pixar lineup. Uh, Pixar? Uh, uh, Pixel? Pixel? Pixar. Pixar. Pixar? 
Pixar. Pixar. Oh, Pixar. I'm sorry. Uh, Toy Story 4, uh-huh. Incredibles 2, uh-huh. Frozen 2, uh-huh. and let's see the last one. Incredibles 2, I'm excited for. I'm yeah. excited for her. Yeah. I think it's 10 years too long, but I'm still going to watch it. Regardless. Yeah. yeah. It's not, and not only is it 10 years too long, the movie's going to take right after, right after, right after, after it. Pretty much when they defeat that mole dude, right? No, the mole dude comes out. They never, yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, fought yeah, the yeah. mole dude. So it'll be them fighting him. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's so cool. Underminer. Yeah, Underminer. The Underminer. Anyway. I just want to see more. I, mean, of, it. I want to see more of Samuel L. Jackson. Where's my super, super suit? <laughs> Why do you need to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I think that, like the Toy Story Four is kind of pushing it because Toy Story Three was amazing. Almost cried. I, really liked, I like Toy Story Two the best. Really? I like regular Toy Story the best. Two's the saddest one with no. the, with, with, with the chick cowboy remembering how like she got left behind. You know, supposedly that's supposed to be Andy's mom. Yeah. Because in the, the first Toy Story, and, uh, Andy has the Jesse hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember I saw that thing, like, all the connections and shit. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that, that one was super depressing. Dude. I think 3 was kind of depressing. Because that one almost died. They were like in a little fire pit, and then like, the, the Martians saved them. But the second one was more about like abandonment. They were all depressed in the second one. <sighs> it's kind of bad. But uh, Toy Story 4, I don't know where they go with that. Frozen 2 is pretty sick. I saw Frozen. I like Olaf. Whoever plays Olaf with the dead Josh. He's the guy that also plays uh, the... The the gay the gay character in the Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Did yes. anybody see that movie? Yes. Yeah, I love yeah, that movie. So you saw it. So what was the part that like insinuated that he was gay? There's a part. Because that was the whole big thing about it that his character was gay because there was like a small part that showed you that he was gay. I have uh, what? Maybe because maybe turn. I don't know, honestly. I don't remember. But uh, I mean, I love the the movie. The movie was great. I thought it was a great movie. My girlfriend hated it because she loved the original Beauty and the Beast. Mm-hmm. And like she, Wait, she didn't like it at all. She hated it. Nah. She hated it, but she loved because she because she's she's a hater because she she loves like she likes the nostalgia of the first of the actual. She, she liked she liked Gaston in the first, in the original. Yeah, no one could be that manly. Also, too, I hate I hate I hate how the the beast looked in this one. I mean, it human. I was like, oh, it looks kind of wimpy. It looks like I just beat <laughs> him up. Lame. Yeah, and she hated how she Belle looked because she had a hunchback. She's like, she has a hunchback. Like I was like, she does not. Really? Yeah, she's like Emma Watson had a hunchback. Emma Watson wow. has a hunchback. I don't know. No she was just talking way. shit. She was just talking she's shit. Studious, dude. She's always reading those books. <laughs> like, <I'm> like <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, what else is mine? Uh, they they uh, showed footage for uh for uh, the new uh, Avengers. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. Yeah, they it, and it was like a long. It what's, wasn't just like a what's it called? trailer. It, 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 it explain yeah, explain yeah. Uh, like it pretty much. I think uh, people were talking about it. Like, it showed a. Uh, it picks up where like the Guardian Galaxy meet Thor. So they like after Thor Ragnarok, I guess the Ga- Guardian Galaxy is gonna meet him, and then uh, like a lot of stuff. Happened. It shows uh, uh, Spider Man with his new suit. You guys watch new Spider Man? Yeah, I guess in the movie Spider Man, uh, Tony Stark gives him a new suit. Well, he doesn't. He shows him a new suit. Yeah, but then I guess but and this in Avengers, he gets it. He gets it. He ha- he's actually wearing it. Uh, and then you meet up with Batman. Yeah, they meet up with Batman. And then it shows. I think uh, like Thanos just fucking shit up. Like him just yeah. Him with the glove on everybody. He's murking the shit up. Well, the, they also but said Dark there's a, there's a scene. Up. You're right, dude. There's a scene of a uh, uh, Loki handing him the Tesseract, which is one of the Infinity Stones. Yeah, it's the space. Oh, it's gonna get Brainiac real mad, dude. Yeah, it is. The bastard. <laughs> the best. <laughs> and then uh, you might like this. They actually showed gameplay of the uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and new characters. Oh, yeah. Toy Story is going to be in it. Yeah. Although, I only played the first one. You want play the second one? The second one came out for PS3. I didn't have a PS3. Mm. I think it came out for the PS3. No. Maybe not. No. PS2. Both of them came for the PS3. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I just hey, never played Kingdom Hearts 2. You might like it, Luis. Why, you like Kingdom Hearts? I love Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I know he likes Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah. Now well, I'm just dude. Well, do you, you want you see the uh, new gameplay for it? Yeah, they're they're bringing back a bunch of shit that they brought, they had in the second one too. Yeah, like little gummy chips. And then uh, it looked good. Like they actually, it like looks so much. It looks like clean. Like just all like yeah, because like, with the graphics now they can make it look yeah. more like Pixar movie. Yeah, it's fucking really good. And then um, it's pretty weird like hearing like the Japanese like Woody and the <laughs> Japanese Buzz. Why? Because like, because it's, it's, it's not, it's not American. They have, it's literally yeah. in Japanese. Because like the creators are, are Japan. <laughs> it's not uh, what you would call it. It's not um, like Tom Hanks and the other. Or, uh, no. What's his name? Ohio. 
Blizz out right to you. <laughs> no blizz, it sounds just like it has the piggy like it's like Jap- is everything in Japanese because the creators are from fucking Japan. Yeah, yeah. So like it's pretty funny like just hearing like Woody Japanese and I'll show oh, you later. Mr. Potato <laughs> Head. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Sarah. Uh, I'll I'll show you the thing after. And then what's the uh, other thing? Um, new new Star Wars stuff. Oh, Star Wars Land. Yeah, they Star Wars. showed the concept <sighs> of it. Looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. I and saw a meme. I saw a meme of it. It's like... <laughs> like the concept. The concept and the reality. A bunch of people. Just crowds. Full of people. Which I totally believe. I, will, totally I cool. told my girlfriend, I'm like, as soon as it opens, we're going to be there. And just be yeah. bombing it there. Well, where's it going to be? At? At Disneyland. 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 And then Disneyland World. How am I, when are they going to run out of space to... Expand? Dude, they own... You ever been to, you never been to Disneyland? They really own like acres around it, too. They just yeah, used they it? just expand. Mm-hmm. There's like other parking lots they just have, just to have. Like yeah. they're gonna build a park. They're gonna build all those parking. Universal Studios fucking them, dude. They have no extra land. I know, cause it's, they're in literally in in fucking Hollywood. Like there is like a giant golf course. But it's, it's, it's uh, a. And there's some space in between them and Warner Brothers that they try to use because they wanted to make like the Nintendo Land and shit. Mm-hmm. But the the people that own the the people that own the shit between them and Warner Bros. and the people that own the, the golf course, they're like, fuck that. Damn. Our rich patrons need this golf course. <laughs> <laughs> they need this golf course. You know, there's a... How dare you. There's a, a, a porn studio right next to... Yeah. To, Shut up. To it's it's, it's like across the... Just, I forgot what it's, it's called. It's literally right next to fucking... Uh, in and Like, why across from Why worth their free? Why sh- oh, you know what? Not yeah, I always thought... <laughs> it's Star. No, it's a Visit. Visit. V-I-V-D. Visit it. Visit the, visit the, so I know there's a, the Star One too. There's another porn company. I would always see it when I was coming in to uh, oh the, the you're going down the 101 mm-hmm. and you get into the University you know, right across. There's the the vivid the vivid. Oh yeah, that, that one. That's 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 yeah. The, yeah, that's the porn. That's where all the numbers get crunched, not the cool <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the boring <laughs> stuff happens. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, the, the the console looks pretty sick. And then uh, supposedly they, they're gonna do a lot of stuff. Like they're gonna reamp. Revamp uh, California Adventure 2. They're going to make everything in uh, Pixar. More Pixel? Cal- more Pixar. Ca- more California? More California. Like where like the pier is at? They're making that all uh, Pixar. Pixar we stuff. We like a San Bernardino section. Dude. Fuck that. Yeah, so that does make sense too because they're like Carland and then Bug- Bugland and then yeah. they're literally right next to San Bernardino land. San Bernardino stand, dude. <laughs> yeah. dude. So you yeah. like, you're not walking into start, the San Bernardino land. Start adding some more Marvel in there. <laughs> they are. They're, they're, you know where like the, the Hollywood places that they turned that all into fucking marvel marvel oh. and like it like where the where the the new tower is at yeah right behind yeah. it is this, is this empty parking lot they're gonna build a fucking thing right there Dude. supposedly this is all rumor shit but like where that because where the the, the the guardian galaxy thing is you know how it's blocked off you remember yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like blocked off right there but there's literally just parking lot extra space so they're, they're just gonna oh, just mosey they're on by and build all the superman stuff there? pretty much yeah all the super mm-hmm. all the dc stuff Nice. If I could stab you, I, <laughs> I have nothing to stab you with. Fuck that. Oh, uh, let me just nip this in the bug right now. That Conor McGregor knocked down. It was, it's fake. Oh, well, he wasn't knocked out. No, the so guy who? who reported it is full of shit. He was or full of shit. Yeah. The guy that reported it, fucking got met by some Dana Dana White thugs and be like, "You better say that was fake." <laughs> Oh, you're never gonna box again, homie. I don't remember that was like bad chances, but that's fake. But uh, did you watch the the actual uh, press conference? I, I don't like watching because it, it's it's uh, super fake and weird. Yeah, it's like WWE. Yeah, it's like WWE. Either. Like they're literally like right next to each other, going like, "Come on, yeah, yeah!" Like they're like passing each other. Like they don't even hate each other. Like, they're not even angry at each other. Like, <laughs> this is pretty funny. They're like literally with microphones in their hands, like looking at each other, like yeah. Keep some noise for the, like fuck this bitch and they're right in front of each other. Like, they don't hate each other. Just all build up. I ain't gonna watch the fight. The undercard is getting released the end of the week. For I mean, the, the, for the, fight. For the fight, yeah. yeah surprised like for Canelo and Triple G, like they haven't even released the undercard for that. Like, well, well, this fight comes comes up before a month before. But either way, like, I'm just like I want to know like those undercards. Like, oh, dude, I'm I, surprised that they haven't even finalized. I'm it. pretty sure this undercard is gonna be stacked. Cause who, uh, for who, the Conor McGregor, Conor, yeah. Yeah. everyone wants to be on a card. I want to be on that fucking card. That's has to be the highest pay per view fight ever. So like being on like the co main, you're gonna get a lot of eyes like it's on. Not gonna be the highest pay per view. Oh, dude, you don't think so? Because for a fact, you don't think as the, the average. Yeah. <coughs> Bless you. As the average, uh, fucking. <coughs> Bless you. God damn it. As the average consumer, like I'm not gonna pay for the McGregor Mayweather. 
I'm gonna go see it somewhere. But for a fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for the Canelo Triple G. I don't pay for that too. But uh, but I'm saying because I well, it's like, it's gonna be a spectacle. So like a lot of people are gonna watch it. Even like you, okay, like you, you got the UFC audience is gonna watch it now. You got the boxing heads gonna watch it now because they want to see like. Like what's gonna happen? And then you got, and then they got, the, got the people who don't even watch fighting, who who, who no, just know like, me with it. I feel like enough here. people have, have said like oh, it's gonna be like fucking lame. Yeah, it's gonna be a shit show. Because McGregor just doesn't box professional. But there's always that possibility he can land a punch. That left and, hook. <laughs> and left hook. He can land a punch, and the whole world just fucking burns, dude. Just burns fucking green, if white, me, and if orange. Madonna, sun. If Madonna, if Madonna, Cotto, De La Hoya, uh, Canelo. Fucking Sugar Shane Mosley and those two other guys couldn't do it. How's McGregor gonna do it? You never know, dude. That's a, that's that what if factor. Right, Marquez couldn't do it. Oh, what Marquez actually fight? Hey, he did fight. He got him. marked. I, it makes you sad because he's my favorite boxer, but he got marked. By him. I like that Oscar De La Hoya fight. That was so that was good. Really good too. That was a really good one. Right, Pacquiao couldn't do well, it. Oh, Pacquiao had, was fighting one one shoulder. I know he fucking lied to us all, dude, Pacquiao. saying he was complete. Well, he had to show up. He was making money. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think we used the undercard by this week, so I hope it's really a good one. hope it, like, it carries, like, the fucking... Uh... I want the undercard to be fucking... Because uh, who does Showtime have? Because it's all Showtime Showtime fighters. Showtime has a couple of good ones. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's be nothing but Showtime fighters. But a lot of the Showtime fighters are already boxing this year. I mean... So, it'd have to be... Because like, they lost... Like, heavyweights and shit. Well, they lost Crawford and they lost uh, Lemachenko to ESPN. Uh, so, ESPN can make a deal. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't know why Lomachenko would do that. It's free TV. You can watch him because yeah, well, like, he's not getting paid for advice. Intuitive to like his plan was to like fight the best, which was almost gonna happen, and then out of nowhere, like ESPN fighting fucking bullshit people. Like, well, he's trying to get more eyes on him because like no one knows who he is though. besides besides the actual boxing. He's old fans. though. Like, do you know who Lomachenko was? Lomachenko. No, the Matrix. No. See, he doesn't know who he is. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's Anthony. But the casual, you know Mayweather. Yeah. You know McGregor? Yeah. See? He's going to watch the fucking fight. I guess. That's how you get the money going. <laughs> I mean, it's cool for me. Because I can literally, like... I think I can afford some, like, okay chickens to let my check go. Yeah. All you gotta do is, for Conor McGregor, get 10 people, put 10 bucks on him. Should you get the fight right there, dude? I'm not going to pay for that. Name 10 bucks? Nothing. Where are you going to watch that? Either I'm going to pirate it, because I'm pretty sure everyone's going to try to pirate it, or go to a bar. Only because, like, I have a, a big feeling it's going to be 12 rounds of fucking... The straight... Dancing around, dude. Beautiful masterpiece. Which, I'm not going to lie, dude. I have a feeling Canelo Triple G is also going to be 12 rounds of dancing around. I don't think so. Only because Canelo does not want to get connected. Well, Canelo works good off the ropes, too, right? Yeah. He's like a master off the ropes, right? But I feel like he's not going to, like... Because he knows Golovkin is all pressure all exactly. in your face. So I feel like Canelo... That's going to be the first fight where Canelo's just boxer from the outside... No ropes, nothing, just fucking... Well, doesn't... Well, also, like, the chink in Golovkin's armor is that he's not good from the inside. Because he watched, what, uh, Jacobs? No, it wasn't Jacobs. Yeah, J- well, yeah Jacobs Jacob. the only one that made him look bad. Yeah, when he hit... We, we worked him from the inside. So then if he gets on the ropes, puts all pressure on him, work from the inside, then we got himself a good fight. And they both had knockout power in both hands. But just What's Triple G has a lot more. Well, this Triple G's, like, his whole weakness is that his, he doesn't have good technique whatsoever. Because like, he just gets in your face and eats shots and gives you shots. That and he's good pressuring because he's he's always following you and like trying to get you into the corner. He's good at that because you don't want to get hit in the face, so you're always like or in the body. (laughs) Yeah, so you're always trying to get away from him, and then he just gets you into the corner. But I don't know. I just I'm afraid that one's gonna be twelve rounds of bullshit. I'm afraid. Nah, I think sure Mayweather and McGregor like. There's gonna be a knockout. No, no, no. You don't think so? No, no, no. You don't think Mayweather is no, no. Mayweather has a knock someone out and. Like, unless he cheap shot the motherfucker. Watch the last time he knocked someone out. Was yeah, a cheap May- shot. Mayweather's not the strongest. And he has brittle hands. Yeah, he's not the strongest puncher. Last time he actually truly knocked someone out was over 10 years ago. Damn. Well, no, really? he truly... He, he, well, he, he, Cause he's, they, cause he, he's, he, he's had a knockdowns. He's had pretty good knockdowns. We can't really like, say the, that, that Victor Ortiz one. The solid knockouts are different. You can't, you, you can't count that Victor Ortiz one. Cause Cause he, Victor had, Ortiz he had, one he had really good ones shot. against Ricky Hatton. Where he fucking... We did that badass fucking... Counter right and then stepped away, and Ricky Hannon mm. just face smacked right into the fucking corner and just fucking stretched. Was like, <laughs> that was embarrassing. Yeah, we'll move but on. Yeah. I know after you're, you're kind of bored. Yeah. I can kind of bored over there. But yeah, that's full of shit. The knockdown. 
Oh, okay. Knock out. What's what else is on there? We got um, a Queen biopic. biopic. And we got Doctor Who. Is it a girl? Yeah, it's a woman now. A lot of people got mad over that. That's pretty uh, awesome. I don't watch Doctor Who. I don't care. It's been on the. Is that the longest running BB like British? Fucking. It, it is. Show. And every years. Yeah. It's been on. Since, yeah, since forever. And uh, this is this is his last reincarnation too, right? Because that's like in a lore where he only has like so often reincarnation. I don't know. It's a grown up. Who cares? You're right. I'm not gonna watch it. It's probably goes shitty. Yeah. You need balls and a penis to travel through time. You're right, dude. Yeah, in all honesty, I just don't care about Doctor Who. I, mean, I thought we'd bring it up because I thought you guys have more to say. Because it's one of those weird things. I do have more to say about it. <laughs> Only because it's one of those things where, like, obviously it's pandering to the current audience. Where, like, Always. 2017. Where, like, you know, everybody's white and everybody's a dude. You know, like, you got to start making more ethnic and female characters. Where mm-hmm. on one hand, I, I do admit, yeah, you got to make start making more characters for those because like imagine like a black kid you know like that's like into like that kind of stuff who does he have to look up to like all the superheroes are white at least the ones yeah. that matter you know not really because Miles Morales is probably the best Spider-Man but but even then like that's that's very recent like what's ingrained yeah. into you when you think Spider-Man what color do you see Peter as Parker, as skin? Peter Parker. <laughs> a white yeah, Peter white. Parker a white Batman a fucking chiseled beautiful black haired white man Superman you know like there's Green Lantern I don't know but he's different incarnation. but you still think of the white one not no, the I think the black, black one. one yeah for I think, Green Lantern I think the black one regardless most of like the big iconic yeah, our yeah. Writers, as far as like TV shows even superheroes also too you gotta think of the time they came out when it was like 50s and no but I mean, I'm just, yeah. the yeah. like those are like the ones that are ingrained into like fucking your mind not just to the mind to the whole uh, what's the word for it the nostalgia Nostalgia, the, the psyche, or what? Fuck, I can't. I can't think of it. I'll probably come to me later. But anyways, like it's true that those those kids they cannot relate, like like visually to those people. Like they need something for themselves. But I believe like you have to create new things for those people. You know, like you should create a new black superhero, something fresh and original. Not just make Superman black, you know. Like not that, not, not that that's what they're doing, but like. Well, I think right now Marvel's kind of doing that, though they're not well, creating no, a new character. Marvel's getting a lot of like, for, like that's a, that's one right there. Like the comic book industry in, in general, they're getting a lot of shit for just turning all their characters to another ethnicity or another gender. Like, yeah. there's a female Thor now. You know, there's a female Iron Black Spider Man, female yeah. uh, Black female Iron Man. No, know? but the Black Spider Man, Miles Morales was like way before this whole like. Yeah, but, be like, uh, but a lot of people get mad. It's like, why, why turn what there are, what's already been established as a character? Like the the fact that he's white doesn't define Peter Parker, but Peter Parker is white. white you know? yeah. like, Happens why, to be white. Yeah. Why change him yeah. into something else to pander to people when you can just create a new superhero that's black, like or a woman? Well, they did that with a uh, Static Shock. It's also amazing. Yeah, yeah, they try to they try to start that. It didn't really go anywhere though. It didn't. That wasn't because they went too hard with the like, the ghetto aspect of it. Yeah. No, what, uh, from the hood. Yeah. No, happened was a, it was like a sub a subline from DC, which is nothing but like urban uh, African American superheroes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking yeah. their villains were bang no, babies. But <laughs> what, I, what I was gonna say is that um, Marvel's kind of revamping that or putting like predominantly other people. In yeah, because because look at Black Panther that's coming out. That's going to be a majority African American cast, or just you know African. Cast. Well, you have to yeah, also black get, cast, and um, get an uprising. That that movie looks it looks fucking sick, and Black Panther is a badass. Like just by all means, it, especially you know in Civil War, yeah, they really they make you like. Yeah, they he was, make you like him a yeah. lot. He was one of the cool characters coming out of Civil yeah, War. Yeah, exactly. And well, I, for me personally, I'm hyped on the Black Panther. Well, my question is, Black Panther has always been Black Panther. My yeah. question to you guys would be like, would you rather have a like a Black Superman per se, or uh, an entirely new Black superhero? Well, uh, they're making uh, Black Adam black as a rock. Black Adam was a white character. But I'm saying, like, are you okay with like just Switching the characters into like, I'd rather have an uh, uh, a new superhero who happens to be black. Yeah, I I, I, I don't like that whole like. I mean, it, it doesn't bother me, but I rather prefer having like, oh, Thor is sticking, Thor to me, staying like, true to the 
actual combat. Yeah. I would, yeah, in that sense, yeah. Cause like, I mean, there's if it's minor characters, whatever. I don't care. Or if it's a certain reincarnation of them, fine. Whatever. I don't care. Um, but if, if there's like a certain, you know, timeline they're trying to follow or a certain universe, whatever, I, why not just go by what's going on? Because for me, one? it's like, because I see a lot of this like nowadays, like in shows and stuff where they're like period pieces, you know, like a, like a medieval show or like, or a show set in like 16th century England, whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. These are shows where, like, they're set where there's only white people, you know? Yeah. Oh, like the Viking show. Like the Viking... But they'll fucking... People will bitch and moan, (laughs) and they'll add, like, a ethnic character into the cast just so people feel better. Even though, like... Like, the reason you only see white people on a Viking show is because Vikings (laughs) are white, you know? like Majority white, yeah. Like, make a show where there's, like, more diversity if you want to see diversity. Yeah, that's it. Why force diversity into... Something that like it was never meant to have it just by the nature of, of its setting, you know. Yeah. Like it's not that people are being racist because they want to see Viking show. It's Vikings are cool and they happen to be white, you know. African warriors are cool too, but like, why the fuck <laughs> are people making? Why the fuck aren't people like making shows about African warriors like from the Congo or like any other part of Africa? Like, Zulu nation, dog. Like blame those fucking people. Like I wouldn't mind a fucking. No. I, I wouldn't mind a dang show. Set in some like you know crazy African Let's just give up nation, on the no thing. <laughs> you know. I wouldn't, I I wouldn't mind a show, you know, s- set in that in that area, but you know, I wouldn't be like, you know, like I wouldn't complain that there's no white people in Africa, like if it's like set in early Africa. Well, like no shit, you know, like they, there shouldn't be any white people there. I say all I get was a, uh, you know, because uh, they're remaking uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I was bringing up with a lot of stuff. They make the, uh, the new trailer came out for it. Mm-hmm. And if you ever watch the anime, it's literally based in like a like a separate timeline where like Germany won the war kind of kind of way, but it's nothing but Asian actors. Do, that, do you guys get mad about that? Well, we talked care. about this before, where it's like for me, it's like because like the whole argument is like, oh, that's that's Japanese media, you know, like Japanese men create or Japanese people create the show, you know, it should be represented with Japanese actors. And I go back to the same thing. Like, yeah, it's all Japanese influence animation and creations from Japanese minds. But what the fuck is the setting, you know? Like, yeah. like fucking... Like, let's say Death Note, for example. That's set in Japan. Of course, completely appropriate for them all to be Japanese. Yeah. Fuck, like Fullman Alchemist <laughs> is set in alternate reality Germany. Germany. Yeah. They all have to be fucking <laughs> white German people, you know? Like... <laughs> What's the new the new uh, the new trailer? You guys watching the trailer for Death Note? Yes. Wait, which it. new one? The one that they show who L is. Oh yeah, dude, that's been old. That's been out. Oh really? For a oh. while. Yeah. yeah. I thought we talked about but, that already. Uh, that's one thing. Second, blame the fucking animators themselves for making everybody look one hundred percent not Asian. That's true. Cause uh, they themselves draw them. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. No one tells. Well, I don't know. I don't know if anyone tells them not to make okay, it okay, don't make look it. not <laughs> Asian, but it's up to them when they draw it. <laughs> if they want to do the eyes in a more Asian way or in a more Western rounded way, you know. Like, oh Jesus Christ! I'm it's sorry. up to their discretion, and apparently they really like to see Aryan features on their creations. You know? Yeah, true. I've always found that weird. I've always wondered why, especially in that style. They do make their characters with more wide, uh, wider eyes. It'd be cool those, to get you know. that to weigh in on this. Mm-hmm. It would be cool because you know he has his, he has his uh his background background he, in Asian studies. But I want to say because I've heard it, but I'm not an expert on it. That's why I would like that to elaborate. But you know, like there's a lot of like stigma like with the Asian communities on just the Asian look in general. Like in Korea, like chicks. All the and time, we're getting surgeries so for the eyes. Around. Yeah, like the eyes. They have like the most plastic surgeries in any other country right now. Really? Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Even the men, the men get plastic surgery all the time. Oh. Everyone, they're, just, they're desperately trying to look less Asian. Like watch uh, a good documentary. Is watch uh, Noisy on North and uh, K-pop. It's fucking amazing. Explains really? all that. Yeah, and how like, they pump out people. Like it's fucking. No, really yeah, amazing. I heard I they get, get these like, like shitty contracts, and they're it's pretty much like they're enslaved. And they're, they're pretty much oh. like they're they're, they're uh, like management. Owns their life. They're not owns their life, but like tells them what to do. Like they can't have boyfriends. They can't. It's fucking really good documentary. You guys listen and watch Noisy. I want to uh, say it's like the same thing as like crazy. black people like feeling the need, not the, like, and I don't want to say there's anything wrong with it. It's like black people feeling the need to like strain their hair 
and like oh, make yeah. it look more like I guess I want to say like Western, more white. You know, it's the same thing where like there's just like this this social stigma put into Asian people, I guess, to make to telling them like, oh, you know, the Asian look isn't attractive. You want to look like these white Europeans with their pointy noses and round eyes. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And then like they're they're super pale. Like uh, I think Dad brought this up. Like they like. Dark skin to them is like ugly. Yeah. Yeah. So they're trying yeah, to like. That's a big thing. That there's a lot of racism towards certain groups, as, especially over in Asia, and they're all, that's like very. It's like oh shit, like it's pretty bad. Like you think it's like worse than what you would imagine. Like the American South being racist. Like some of them, like the hate towards certain specific Asian ethnicities is well, pretty yeah. brutal, man. I mean, that, that, that's been around. like the Japanese are fucking hated. I know the Vietnamese are hated by like the Chinese, and well, they, they talk all, shit they, about them because they they're hate dark. Each other in yeah, general. Like, but it's the same thing. Like, that's just like social. It's like those social uh, politics in general. Like, fucking watch fucking gangs of New York. You know, like they hated the Irish. Like, that's true. Like the Irish are just as white as the English and Germans, but in their eyes, the Irish were they're like the, the lowest form of white people. I think. Uh, I think what about the last time we're like. Like a lot of pe- a lot of cultures and like ethnicities go through this shit. Like people hated Italians for a while, people hated Irish people for a while. Right now, just it's fun to hate Mexicans for some reason. It's all it's all social politics. What do you mean? Social, Not right now. Social ladder climbing. Like everyone has to find a scapegoat for everything. Like Mexicans yeah, Mexicans do it to every other person below the fucking equator. <laughs> like you yeah, know, African people, African people do it to themselves. You know, like yeah. It's all, it's all tribes everywhere, out there too. Everywhere you go, like it's just that tribal mindset. I the, think that's what it is. The English don't. The English make fun of Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. You know, like well, the Welsh are nothing but sheep people. No, that's Scottish people. Nothing but sheep people. Maybe. No, Scottish are nothing but mountain people, Highlanders. Highlander. <laughs> and the then Irish are nothing but potato eating mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, same thing. Like like fucking Europe in general. Like Eastern Europe is like a joke to them. Like. Yeah, it is a joke. Eastern European people are just sub sub below subpar, you know. Yeah, but dude. It's just it's just social social fucking bar at Eastern European. Social dude. fucking bar at Eastern European. Dude. You know you know why? Social the gypsies. Oh Jesus Christ! God, we're getting super. Ra- we're getting super racist. Fucking gypsies. <laughs> Hashtags not racist, but we're getting super. Racist. No, just kidding. <laughs> and Anthony does hate gypsies. Yeah, Anthony does hate. Anthony hates everyone. Anthony. Equally, there's a couple so mi- there's a couple missing cases, you know, that could have been solved. Dude. You can find that sex cult. <laughs> 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 I'm running a gypsy sex cult, dude. That'd be a cool name for a band, Gypsy Sex Cult, like a hit, one of those hipster bands. Apparently, they hate that name, Gypsies. Oh, of course they hate that name. There's so much like hate behind it when people call like a gypsy, like. I forgot. Well, what, Jewish what, people what, fucking get hated on. Jewish people are the most hated people on earth, dude. I know, but gypsies, because they're like, it's a specific that group <laughs> of people. And they're they, always they, like competing with black people for the most hate. Like, yeah. J- the Jewish people always get shit on. Yeah. They try to. It sucks. <laughs> they, it's like slavery. It's like, what about the Holocaust? Right. Like, Pretty much. Like, they're trying to like show each other. Like, we had slavery for 200 years. Like, Six million of us died in the Holocaust. <laughs> like, oh <laughs> fuck! Like you're right. Not only that, but then they go back to like even before then. Times, yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, according to the Bible, there were slaves to Egyptian. Yeah. Like, that's super weird. How like Egypt is like super Muslim, but it's in Africa. Yeah, Northern African nation wasn't even Muslim to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't until the like ancient caliphates went in. That's super weird, man. History just blows my mind. How the fuck are we as people? A majority of modern Egyptians aren't actually Egyptian. They're descendants of uh, people that migrated from the Middle East down to uh-huh. Egypt. Oh, shit. So it's not really a... Because most Egyptians actually have more in common with Africans than they do. Yeah. Like genetically. Yeah, they have like more in, like more yeah, African features, right? Or no? Yeah. Well, Northern African features. Because Southern African features are totally different, I heard. But they have like more African... A true, true Egyptians, like full-blooded, like going back to the Pharaoh times have more genetically in common with Africans than modern Egyptians in general because modern Egyptians are super mixed in with people that came in from, from the Middle, Middle East. right? Yeah. And some French too. Some more reason because the French took over and just fucked shit up. Well, the French did a lot of shit in Northern. Africa. Because Ital- the Italians had a lot of influence in Libya. The French had a lot of influence in, in Algeria and uh, this other fucking Mali, I think. Portugal also played a big part along the western coast. 
Oh, for like, like uh, Nigeria and shit. Well, the, the Portugal played a big part in the slave trade. That's like money, originally. Right? Well, the Dutch started it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But all, all the seafaring Everybody, nations, the yeah. Dutch, Portuguese, Spanish, they all, they all brought their, their fair share of slaves to the New World. Mm-hmm. So you have like, there's like literally like black people in, a bunch of black people in Cuba, a lot in Panama. Dominican Republic. Bunch Venezuela. Of Brazil, bunch of Brazil. But Brazil, they're like, Brazil is more like they're just mixed to the point where See, the Portuguese well, Brazilians are, are just Brazilians are just half black. Yeah. Know? That's just yeah. your average Brazilian and fucking Panamanians. There's like the straight up look black, but they speak Spanish because it's just all that slave culture. Same thing. Like lots of parts of Mexico, like Veracruz. There's a lot of black communities. That's yeah. right. I wouldn't have gone to Monica. My, my uncle looks dark as shit. No, yeah, that's just him probably more closer with the uh, I think the native the, side the native because he looks like a people. straight Indian oh yeah. native whatever well you know he looks like a native American native American yeah he's a Mesoamerican Mesoamerican whatever you want to say he's all upset native Central American you know though they look like me- I don't know because the, the, there's two different people Cause like Luis yeah, and I, the right people and the wrong people. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> no, no. But there's the people who were for sure more, like their families come more with like from the Spaniards or yeah. the, the those uh, conquistador bloodlines, and then yeah, because look, it look, 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 look yeah, because look more European. Like look at Luis and I, we don't like we're Mexican, and you know we're, but I'm not short. <laughs> And like brown looking, I'm tall, light skin. Luis is short, Patriotic, light skin, powerful. <laughs> you know, but you have chinky eyes though. Who? That you? Do, yeah. That's a th- that's a curveball. That's your little. That's probably the the you know native the shining out of me. Mm-hmm. But it's like me. I look. I'm half white and Me- and like Guatemalan, but I'm like dark as shit and tall. What's well, partly because you're. Genetically more predetermined to be darker, and then you stand in the sun a lot. Probably. You'd be like a very light yellow if you just mm. never went in the sun. <laughs> Is my brother light yellow? No, your brother, he's in the sun too, dude. Oh, you guys yeah, are like the same that. skin tone. I've yeah. talked both of you guys were very <laughs> light yellow if you just didn't get sun. Yeah, you look pretty. Tan. No, which also weird. My mom's tan as fuck. But you have Aryan features. You have a sh- pointy, sharp nose. I do. Mm. Like those, those high up cheekbones. Yeah. The no hair. Very Aryan. Yeah, yeah, those those Western features. I know. I do. No, I'm just thinking about features now. God damn, yeah, look at yeah, that. you how guys. Do like, get, how do we arrive here? Because My dad looks pretty Italian. Well. Yeah, come I to, have like to realize. One of my my dad's grandma, my great grandmother, was just straight from Sicily. Oh really? That's yeah. cool as fuck. And then that grandpa, the one I'm named after, he was straight from Mexico. So they have like that like mix. And then, so that's how, like, my whole dad side, they're all, like, pale-looking Mexican people because of that. You look just like your dad. It's creepy. Yeah. yeah. I don't see it, dude. Dude, look at you old see pictures. An old picture of my dad. It looks you see an old picture of just like Anthony. Yeah, he's just a short, <laughs> now he's just a short, like, redneck Mexican guy. I swear to God, you see old pictures of Anthony's dad? It looks just like Anthony. It creeps me out all the time. Yeah. No, but then, and then also my mom's dad was from Switzerland. What? That's not yeah, curveball. Swiss. I was so. American, right? I'm from America. No, you're not. So you, you just, you just so claimed your mom's first Guatemala. generation American from Switzerland. How did she not learn any Swedish? No, her, Swiss, I don't Swiss. know. How did she not uh, learn Swiss. any Swiss? Uh, her dad wasn't around ever. Mm-hmm. And he lived in Mexico. Damn, so she could have been speaking Swiss. Maybe, but he ditched like my grandma right away. So, and he was like twenty years older Swiss than her too. too. As the white people do. As the white people do. In general, they're just dodging, always dodging. Yeah. Uh, what do you call commitments and, and wars? <laughs> and wars. Well, you know why they don't? They never go in wars, right? Because they're banks. Because a lot of uh, like national monies in their banks. Yeah, because there was a lot of Jews at the time. So that's why. Damn, hating on Jews again, huh? No. For is it because you look like one, Luis? I'm just saying, for some wow. reason, for some reason, those are because of my Italian features. <laughs> are you Italian? 
I'm I'm come I'm more and more realizing that we might be of Italian descent and not Spanish descent. Cause my dad does look pretty Italian. Now that I think about it, cause I saw some. Does he do this a lot? I saw. <laughs> no. <laughs> does he? Does just, he ravioli, bring hey, spaghetti, just, yeah, like a... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I saw some pictures of some Italian people. I was like, oh shit, like kind of look like my dad. I remember one time some lady told my dad that our last name Santana was like derived from an Italian San- Santanelli, and they changed it to Santana. She was saying, oh, like yeah, you come from Italian people. Santana used to be Santanelli, and I was like, huh. I need to check. I want to do that genetic. Me too, because I have no idea what the fuck I am. Yeah, I, I want to look that up too. Oh, uh, you're Mexican. But, uh, yeah, you're Mexican. Yeah, you're probably yeah, Mexican. Yeah, probably, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. full Mexican. Imagine just 100% Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. Like, Mexican. Mexican. there was just some weird, like, mutation where we came out lighter skin. Yeah. Well, see, you got a lot of weird stuff going on, because then, like, you got that Swiss, Italian, Mexican, like, all that native blood nah. in there. Sicily. I guarantee see, you. you're more diluted, dude. I, want, I like to believe I'm closer to the... Wow. <laughs> I'm closer to the motherland, baby. <laughs> I like to think my, my bloodline's a little cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> not as murky. Yeah. Yeah. Not as murky. I heard, not, not I heard another guy talk about, talk like that. You know what his name was? Hitler. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't respond. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've been going for far like an hour and a half. Man. Hour and sixteen. Uh, I say this is. is it was fun. A little fun try for our first uh, live and try yeah, not, like first live. Ten thousand viewers on uh-huh. YouTube. Don't check it. <laughs> <laughs> we had zero watching, and our live stream was very glitchy. I fi- I think I, I know exactly what it is though. All right. And then, uh, good attempt to try not to cuss, but Luis dropped so many F bombs. More than we me all, this time. We all, we all did. We I, all did, I dropped like two or three, but I was yeah. very conscious not to drop We're trying because we're, we're going to be doing something cool in the near future. Also, we're making shirts. With the radio station. Yeah, we got shirts coming up. We have a webcam now. We're getting cool new mic stands and some professional Remember lighting. To hit us up on Instagram for free shirts. Or just be extremely hot. <laughs> or. <laughs> Or watch Anthony's new webcam, well, uh, webcam yeah, series. Yeah. Him being a webcam girl. <laughs> webcam girl. <laughs> Still go my butthole yeah. for hours and get hours. fat Jesus money. Christ. Fat money. Yeah, dude. Stimulate my prostate. Just I'm gonna that jizz until that there is, is nothing inside of my mm-hmm. body. Mm-hmm. Nothing inside of mm-hmm. my body. You can dehydrate yourself so much, dude. Like a skeleton. No, I'm just gonna have an IV connected to my arm while I'm dildoing my butthole mm-hmm. and just oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, new, new uh, Anthony's live series. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you could do your, uh, you could do your uh, music minute on know, YouTube now. Uh, uh, like, uh, I'm gonna be like sitting up like this with my legs up. Luis, 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 and be like, okay, so today in music, we got uh, Jay-Z's new album. Uh, uh, pretty. Uh, 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 <sighs> if, uh, what was I? <laughs> I might break down the fight. You might fight, what? Uh, there's a good fight, fight card. We talk about the fight card month, next month. When? When? Wednesday? No, there's no fight card. Saturday. Good fight card. Like the best Coming one of the up? year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jesse Garcia. Sit down and talk into the mic. Adrian Broner, dude. I am. Uh, all right. So that Louis kick us off, buddy. Garcia, no. uh, remember to subscribe to our you new YouTube channel. That's yeah, the thing just now. Just look uh, up Into Deep Podcast. Into Deep Podcast on YouTube. I'll probably share the shit out of it. Cause for, no uh, for more live streams, that's where we're going to try to focus on. Live streams and actual videos this live time, Live streams, guys? actual videos. We do got webcam. We can remember record people. That if you're extremely high, you get free shirts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. At least from me. My my <laughs> Wait, portion of the shirts will uh, be given uh, away. To the, the most extremely hot. Only to the extremely hot. <laughs> get a free shirt. Thank God we only got six of the smallest. Cause <laughs> 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 well, I'll get two each. So you're fucked, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there could be some extremely hot mediums. Dude. I'm not going to say large. Dude, but, you know. so, some are so extremely hot. Thicker than a Snickers large, dude. Thicker than a Sunday newspaper, dude. I guess. I'll let you choose those. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> All right, dude. I don't kick it right. off, man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lizzie, pull out your into deep. Kelly Jenner girl came in. <laughs> <laughs>
Is that done? No? That's uh, we're still streaming live. If anybody watched at all, anybody watched at all, we're gonna be at knockouts right after this. No, we're not. We had oh four views, wait, wait, wait. one watching, one person's watching us. Look at me on YouTube. That's uh, Vinny. Yay! I got excited for a second.